Yeah, it's going to get pretty active here. I know it doesn't seem like it right now. No, it doesn't. Yeah, we've got clear skies, a little mm -hmm. bit of patchy fog, and some pretty mild temperatures this morning. It's into the upper 60s and lower 70s, but because of the heavy rain that we're going to see, especially for tomorrow, the National Weather Service has already issued a flash flood watch. Now, it doesn't go in effect until later on this evening, but it goes for all of the counties that you see in the green. That includes Milwaukee, Racine, Kenosha, Walworth, Waukesha and Jefferson counties. So we're going to be on high alert for possibly seeing some flooding conditions, especially as we get into your Sunday. But this morning we're dry for now, but out to the west and even to the south now, we're seeing some scattered showers and some thunderstorms a little bit closer to the cold front. You can see we've got clear skies now as far as the cloud cover goes, but we're starting to see just a little patch of green there popping up in parts of southwestern Walworth County. So there may be a couple of sprinkles out there, but a few peaks of sunshine early on this morning. So here we are at eight o'clock. You can see that we have uh, clear conditions from West Bend to Port Washington, but that quickly changes right around midday or so. We'll start to see some scattered showers and thunderstorms working their way into the area. Another wave of rain pushing in right around three o'clock and that will continue for about an hour or so. We'll get a brief break right around eight or nine o'clock. And from there, especially as we get into the overnight hours and early tomorrow morning, we're just going to see wave after wave of rain pushing through along with some embedded thunderstorms as well, especially in Fond du Lac, West Bend. You can see around 530 tomorrow morning that rain will be pushing in and it's going to be heaviest though farther towards the south, especially once you get along the Illinois Wisconsin border. So if you have any travel plans farther south into places like Chicago, you'll definitely run into some heavy rainfall today. We're expecting about a quarter of an inch of rain, but look how it really starts to pile up as we get into Sunday. Anywhere from one to three inches of rain will be possible. So flooding where you usually see it, that's going to happen and especially ponding on the roadways. That's what we'll have to watch out for. Now, big changes on the way after Sunday. Humidity goes down and the rain chances will start to go down as well. So we'll be in that comfortable category Monday through Wednesday as far as the dew points go, but the rain chances will be returning as early as Wednesday afternoon. So a bit of a washout for Sunday. Scattered showers and thunderstorms for today, though. It'll be windy, a high of 78, 75 for Sunday, and we're done with the rain by Monday. Mostly sunny, less humid and cooler with a high of 70. No more 60s for lows after that. Lows falling down into the 50s, so some cooler mornings and mild afternoons as we kick off the start of fall for next week.